Dear supporters, I am reaching out to ask you for your help in taking Watch ACTV to the next level. With your generous donation to our GoFundMe campaign, we can make the crucial switch to a new platform that offers incredible benefits to both our network and our viewers. Firstly, the new platform allows for easy subscription via credit card and PayPal, making it accessible to viewers in international markets who were previously unable to join us. Additionally, we will be introducing a live component that will revolutionize how subscribers are able to engage with our content. Moreover, the new platform provides powerful marketing tools built right in, enabling us to reach a wider audience and to grow our community. And with this emphasis on community engagement, we'll be able to foster deeper connections with our viewers. A Connection TV. And to make this transition possible, we need to raise $6,000. Your donation will not only facilitate the platform switch, but will also offer a soft rebrand for our company, ensuring that Watch ACTV continues to evolve and thrive. Please consider contributing to our campaign and be a part of our journey towards a brighter future for Watch ACTV. Thank you for all of your support throughout the years, your comments, your tweets, your shares. They all mean the world to us here at Watch ACTV. Thanks again. What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy here, Wesley from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place on the World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social medias, Twitter and Instagram at A Connection TV. And don't forget to click that like button. Okay, we are going to get into some things. What I'm going to do this particular review is not only am I going to see what Twitter has to say about the episode, but I am going to see what you guys have to say uh, about your comments under my review, right? And so we're going to get into it. This video may be a little long because I'm doing episodes 25 and 26. But without further ado, let's get into it, okay? Serena and Daya talk. Uh, I was happy when Serena and Dea uh, talked. Uh, Kendall says she is going to feel some way about you bringing uh, Dea back. I'm going over my notes, right? Because I want to get to this latest episode, right? Kendall says Serena is crazy and he tells Cordell to just stick with Dea. I believe that everyone feels that Cordell should stick with Dea, right? It just makes sense, right? Dea says, uh, so listen, let me tell you something. Dea is the queen. Dea is like my new favorite, like Janae. Dea is like my new Janae, right? Queen, queen tings, okay? Dea says uh, to Serena, I'm not going to get upset about over. He said, she said, she said, I'm not that girl. I said, we, she says like, we are, we need to be mature. We need to be adults and we need to act correct, right? When Dea is explaining this to Serena, Dea is sunning. Serena and Serena, I don't know if she said anything or not because the edit makes it seem like she didn't say anything. I feel like these editors are very funny, right? And I don't know if anybody made the comment about it on my last video, but you, I stated that you could sit there and watch a freaking scene happen, and then all of a sudden, for three or four or 17 seconds, it's mute, and we hear this dramatic, overly dramatic cinematic music. And then they come back into dialogue and they're like, Yeah, don't you agree? And I'm like, No, because I don't hear what was the question. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, in this moment, Dea clears Serena and basically says that she's childish. She's doing way too much over. He said, she said, and she needs to get over it. This is the moment where Serena uh, was yelling at Cordell and, you know, yelling over the 90 percent, 10 percent. And she's cussing out everyone and cussing out the boys and all of that stuff. Very interesting. But I love how Dea kept her composure. Right. Kendall tells him about the 90 and uh 10% Miguel is not saying anything at all. So Kendall talks to uh Cordell, well the guys, right? And Kendall is bringing up the fact that there was something stated that Cordell has said that Serena was 90%, Dea was 10%. Miguel is not saying anything. Miguel is the one that said this. Miguel is the one that said this to Leah and Miguel is not saying anything. He's being mute. OK, and it's very interesting because now Cordell is upset. OK, Cordell goes off on Leah. You know what I'm saying? And Leah says, you said this this morning. And I'm like, girl, you don't remember that the man that you proclaim to be in love with, the man that you think is so awesome because he's a bad boy, said this to you 
well, to us, it seems like earlier in the day and y'all were sitting on a chair. Like, why don't you remember that? It wasn't Cordell. It was Miguel. And even in this moment, Miguel is not saying anything. He's staying mute. He don't want no problems. He don't want no problems. Do you guys know anybody like Miguel? So Cordell and Serena finally talk and they seem to have a decent conversation. And, you know, Cordell basically says that he thinks about the fact that they have built on something from day one. And in my mind, I'm like, what was that something? Because the mass majority of people don't understand what Cordell sees in Serena. And it's very interesting. And I'm, I'm aggravated because everyone seems to be talking about Serena in terms of her sunning and friend zoning and dumping Cordell. But no one says it to Serena. Until Kendall finally gets the cojones to say, come on, Serena, you dumped him and you friend zoned him. What are we talking about? Like, why are you even going off like this? I am shocked that someone finally said that to her, to her face. And her whole claim to fame is that we said we were going to be respectful. I mean, I just don't understand why you can't put two and two together. It does not make sense to me. Miguel talks to Aaliyah, but doesn't tell Leah about what he said about the 90 and 10 percent. Instead, he takes this opportunity to basically state that he cares about her. He will care if she decides to talk to other people and basically that he likes her. They hug. Then Kenny and my baby mama, my queen, Janae, talk. Janae says she overreacted and she apologizes. Kenny appreciates it. She gets emotional for making him cry. Janae says she feels better. Okay. Kenny didn't really do anything. Kenny didn't do what Aaron did. Kenny didn't do what Cordell did. Kenny just brought someone back because he hasn't had the opportunity to basically explore his options or whatever the case may be. I'm serious when I ask this. What is Kenny's motivation? What is his personality? I have no idea. I'm very clueless to what he represents and what he stands for. Maybe he's getting a bad edit, but I feel like I know way more about Cordell than I do about Kenny. I know way more about Kane than I do Kenny. I know way more about Kendall do I, than I do Kenny. I know way more about everyone else than I do Kenny. So I'm confused with what Janae sees. Honestly, I just don't get it. Uh, Janae dances walking around downstairs because her and Kenny are in a good space. Miguel hugs Serena. Dea cries when Kendall checks on her. Um, you know, Dea's feeling some sort of way. Things aren't what Cordell said that they would be when they got back to the house. And Cordell is feeling really, really bad for letting down Serena and doing her wrong. So he really wants to make amends for that and, 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 kind of re-establish re, re the fact that he does care for her. And so that's where Cordell is caught up in, right? Miguel talks to Sierra. Miguel tells her he wants to be honest and that he wants to pursue Leah. And in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, that's big of, that's big of him. But also in my mind, I'm thinking, are the producers, like, it again, I haven't watched the other seasons, but it has to be established that this type of lingo that we're choosing and how they maneuver and move are like within the realm of was is within the realm of the game. And which is why everyone's speaking this way, because, you know, the dumping, the recoupling, the choosing, the closed off, the open up, all of these terminologies, I guess, are, you know, synonymous with the show Love Island, I guess. Uh, Kayla and Aaron are back together. They talk. Kayla is happy. I mean, did we all know that it was, it was going to happen? Yes, we did. Because Kayla clearly, clearly has strong feelings for this man. And it's by default, right? They're going to get back together. They're going to be bound back together. It just it is what it is. Kayla is much when within regards to Aaron, okay? Uh, let's see. Janae flirts with Kenny. Okay, cute. I, if she's happy, I'm happy for her. Dea tells Cordell, I feel like you've been abandoning me uh she is real and says let me know how you feel cordell wants serena he is silly Dea is so grown in this moment all night throughout the whole experience Dea has been one of the most mature and professional 
uh, women in, in, in the in the in the casa in the villa, and every time she speaks, she speaks with conviction and uh, certainty, and I love that for her as a young uh, woman on the show. Uh, they get a text. The challenge was cute. We found out that Daniela and Aaron have a handshake. Okay, Leia. Okay, I'm going through my notes. And this the car situation, the little wash the slime thing, car thing. All right. Leia goes up and someone says that Kendall gives them the biggest ick. Someone says that Daya came on to get with Cordell only because of his brother. And to be honest, I thought the same. Daya is not feeling that. She feels that that is not true. And, you know, Cordell is like, what? I give someone the biggest ick. I think Cord Ken Kendall is... Kendall, I think Kendall is just so gorgeous. Ugh, the cake on that man. Someone says Janae is the baddest, and she is. Someone says the way Aaron passed Daniela over to Rob like she's an object, that was crazy. Like, this game is so freaking ruthless. Sierra and Miguel uh, goes, someone calls Leah toxic. Someone calls out Serena for playing Cordell. Um, and I'm finally overjoyed by that. Again, Kendall called her out, and now the game in the public is calling her out. Uh, Aaron goes. Uh, Aaron goes next. Someone says Kendall is a king. Uh, Cordell did what in bed? Casa going crazy. What? Okay, that was. I don't. I'm sorry. I was writing my notes. Uh, okay, that came up about Cordell and what he did in bed, which was the dry humping that everyone's denying. Daya and Cordell go. Someone says Nicole is the most underrated girl in the house. Someone says Liv is a mean girl. We're gonna talk about Liv this particular episode, the newest episode. Robin Daella goes. Someone says Janae uh, Kenneth is not your man, and I completely agree. She should have kept Jacoby. Period. Catherine and Kenny go. Someone says Miguel is realer than Aaron and Cordell. Someone says, I feel bad for Kayler. They didn't see the rest of it. It's, uh, mm, I, <laughs> yeah. The OG girls talk about what the public had to say. Liv, they talk about the Odell Beckham comments. Uh, Dea says, I didn't come at you just because Odell is your brother. Liv cries over her comments, calling her a mean girl. And I don't think Liv is a mean girl. I just think that Liv has no purpose on the show. She's not here to find love. She's here to, uh, you know, make sure the girls are cool and make sure the boys don't act up and to get into people's business. That's what it feels like Liv is here for. So I feel like she should just go home. There's no reason for her to be here. I mean, I'm sure people like her, but there's just no reason for Liv to be here. Rob and Dayella talk. Kayla and Dayella talk. Kayla asks uh, her what happened. Kayla gets emotional saying, OMG, why didn't you tell me? Kayla says, I feel like a dumbass. They get ready for the night. Daya and Cordell both have blowouts. They look amazing. I thought that was, I thought that was so sexy. Daya's hair blown out. Cordell's hair blown out. I, I think they're a match made in heaven, but Cordell is making the dumbest decision ever. Kayla and Aaron talk about the shower comment. She starts crying. Uh, Kayla is a lot. I'm starting to get annoyed with all of the crying. I still like her because she's, you know, genuinely her, but I'm over it. And, you know, they argue. Now, we're on to episode 26. I had to speak through that, right? Because I'm watching the latest episode. And honestly, I can't like wait. I'm like day to day to day, I'm like, like on pins and needles waiting for, you know, the episodes to come out or whatever. But Aaron is annoyed that Kayla is bringing up the shower thing. Kayla says she's that he screamed at her and she speaks to Liv. Now, I didn't see Aaron screaming. I saw Aaron annoyed. There's a difference, right? There's a difference. We think that there's a difference. We know that there's a difference. Yeah, he didn't yell. Aaron says she needs to drop it or drop me. I think Kayla needs to drop Aaron and leave it alone, right? Because clearly Kayla has in her mind how she wants her guy to be. And honestly, she wants a guy that emulates her in the way that she moves and has that her level of respect. She's not appreciating or understanding, right, that people move differently. Even though she stated it, 
She still doesn't understand that that's how life works. People don't move the way that you move. And it's unfortunate because at the end of the day, if you're wanting someone to move like you, you need to find that person. Establishing that Aaron is not that person means that you need to cut ties if you can't deal with it, right? But how long is this what happened in Casa thing going to affect Kayla forever? It's going to affect her forever because they got movie night tonight and it was juicy. Janae and Kenny goes to Soul Ties. Kenny tells Janae, I want you. I need you. Janae says, you are my favorite out of everyone that I've tried to go for. Kenny, is it me or is it not just me? But he seems slow. Like every time he comes on screen, his face is like this. Ah, oh yeah. What? Ah, ha ha. What do you mean? Ah, no, you're pretty today. Like, why does he talk like this? I don't get it. I don't understand it. It's a bit much for me, okay? But whatever, Janae is happy and Kenny makes Janae happy. So I'm guessing that we could like, like accept him, but whatever. Kenny just needs to speed up. Like what? Like, I don't know. Kenny says, if we have a recoupling moment, I'm choosing you. They kiss. Uh, I care for Janae. I'm so happy for her, but I don't see the connection. I really don't. I don't see the connection at all. I genuinely don't. Like, I don't, I don't see a connection between Cordell and um, Serena. There's never been one. It's been like brother and sister, but with a mixture of incest. I see the connection between Aaron and Kayla. I see the net connection between Kendall and Nicole. I don't see any other connections in the house. I don't. Between Leia and and freaking Leia and Leia and Miguel have more of a connection than Janae and Kenny. But that's just me. Okay. Um, Aaron talks to Kayla. Kayla cries again. Aaron doesn't know how to handle this. He apologizes over and over. He says, I love you. And they kiss. Kayla is getting on my nerves because the moment this man says, I love you, that's all she needed to hear. And it's a wrap. It's over. So annoyed by Kayla. Although I love her and I think she's a great person and she wears her heart on her sleeve, but enough is enough. Like it's just too much for me. It's too much. Cordell talks to Serena. Um, Cordell says he's decided to break it off with Dea. He says, I want to work it out with you, but I don't want it to be forced. Dea asks Kendall for advice. Dea says he wants to, Dea says she wants to cut things off with Cordell. Listen, Cordell is crazy for choosing Serena. Serena has never chosen Cordell ever in this entire show. Serena has never chosen Cordell ever. And so in my mind, it's like, I don't understand why he's choosing her. Just think about the dance floor moment. You weren't chosen then. You had this beautiful girl that was really here for you and wanted to connect with you, but you, you pushed her to the wayside to be with Serena. I just, I will never understand that at all. And I love Cordell. I think he's super awesome, but I just don't understand that. Kendall gets a text. The hideaway is open. Uh, the people choose for Nicole and Kendall to go into the hideaway. Let me tell you, first of all, Nicole is a baddie. When she puts on the lingerie situation, she is flawless, okay? And Kendall, oh my God, the cakes on that man. The man is gorgeous too, okay? They go into the hideaway. They have a great moment, a great time, okay? Uh, Kayla talks to Liv and Aaron uh, and tells her that Aaron said, I love you. Liv spends more time in everyone's business than getting to know her man. That's what I wrote, and I feel the same way, and that's not going to change. Liv will never find someone to connect with on the show. She needs to go home. Um, Aaron talks to Rob and tells him about the L word. I don't think that it really means anything. Kane speaks to Sierra, saying he's not romantically connected with Liv. What happened to Kane's finger? I really want to know because, you know, he's wearing a finger thing, and we don't know what happened. Maybe y'all do, but I don't. But if they had live feeds, I would be able to, you know, figure it out. Um, the girls tell Liv about what Kane 
feels and how he's, you know, getting to talk to the wanting to talk to Sierra because they've been like eye contact and they've been like I effing each other or whatever the case may be. Liv is a bit annoyed. She's surprised. And she's like, why does everyone know everything before me? Kenny talks to Catherine. Kenny says, Janae is where my mind is at. He tells her to let's be friends. Catherine is happy about it. She moves on. Miguel talks to Leah and says, uh, F what people think. Miguel tells Leah he wants to continue with her. He tells her that he broke it off with Sierra. Nicole and Kendo says that they are both closed off. Again, terminology established in the game. And I'm happy because I like Kendall and I think Nicole and Kendall are great together. Kendall and Nicole talk to everyone about the hideaway. They all talk about their sex and the fact that they had sex and that they are now closed off. Aaron tells the boys, Aaron tells the boys about saying the L word and I guess it's like a big thing for them in the house, but I don't know. I think the L word is coming across way too fast and way too quick. Right? Cordell talks to Dea and Dea goes off on him and says, No, I'm done with you and you're a liar and you're disrespecting me and like I'm not here for it or whatever the case may be. And she goes off, she starts off strong, looking gorgeous, but then they're still sitting on the couch, which makes it feel like 10 minutes has passed until we get to this edit, but they're still talking. And then where Dea was leading the conversation, Cordell's ending the conversation and you know, Dad decides to go off on him and walks away. I I felt like I should have gotten more after that, but I didn't. I felt like that whole situation was was ended quick, and it was what it was. Dad rolls up on Serena and says, "Look, I'm done with the kid. You can have him. I don't want him anymore." And um, I'm not about to sit around and play second fiddle for no one or whatever the case may be, but he's yours. You can have him or whatever the case may be. Low key, Serena is feeling happy about it. And I think it's all for the wrong reasons. I don't know why I don't trust this girl. I don't know why I don't care about this girl. I don't know why I feel like she's lied, not lied, but she's played Cordell and Cordell. Cordell is the only one that doesn't see it. The only one. And, and for me, I just don't feel like I don't understand why. If, if I look at these dudes as like my brothers and some of them have said it, but I don't know if it's being overstated, but Serena's not for Cordell at all. At all. It's just not. It's it's not. It's not it. Liv and Kane talk finally. I don't see Liv falling for anyone, but they hug. Cordell tries to get Serena back. Why? Dea calls Cordell a child, and Serena clearly feels the same. He kisses her and he walks off. After the conversation that Cordell had with Serena, which for me I felt like was a beg and a plea, and Cordell is not needing to be in this position to beg or plead anyone for anything. He kisses her on the forehead. He walks away. She stays over in the do on the dock and she's like crying, laying on her side. And I swear to God, I just do not understand the level of emotion that this woman is carrying. She's trying to be overly strong. She's trying to be overly whatever. And I still just don't think that she cares that much. She does not. Okay. And I think the crying aspect is the fact that she's like on TV and she feels like a guy played her while she was on TV. Like, that's what I feel like her crying thing is. But she is admitting that she's liking him and that she's feeling the guy or whatever. But I just don't I don't buy it. I just don't buy it. Um, Liv cries to Nicole and Serena. She says, what did I do wrong? Because no one loves her and she doesn't love anyone else. She's like the white Janae. OK, um, Janae gets a text about movie night. They all know what movie night is going to be, and it's going to be crazy. Let's talk about movie night. Idle Hands is the first movie. Aaron does the handshake with Daniela and freaking Kaler. That is insane to me. The exact handshake he does with Daniela, which makes me believe that he has done this handshake outside of this game and has done it with other women. I mean, that's just it. Boys win again, and they choose Bitch Perfect. The combo with Rob telling Liv and Leah about uh, uh, Liv, Liv and Kayler about Leah lying with regards to taking a back seat with getting Andrea out the house. Um, Liv and Leah go at it. Leia says, Kayler is doing this white girl shit. Now, that was insane to me. Like, I'm try trying to figure out, and uh, this is why we need a live, live feeds, because 
clearly there's been a discord between the two of them or between just the women in general, right? I feel like it's Leia, Janae, and uh, Serena versus Liv, Kaler, and whoever else decided to take Liv and Kaler's side. Because Liv and Kaler were going hard in the paint to Leah, and Serena was sticking up for Leah. And Leah really came out her mouth and was like, oh, spare me with the white girl antics or whatever she said. The, the clip got cl- like got, The clip got clipped. Then Janae tried to talk and chimes in, and then Liv was like, stay out of it, stay out of it. And I'm like, why is she talking? to Janae like that? And why is Janae letting her talk to her like that? That's crazy. And Serena has to be the one talking about, oh no, what we're not going to do is bother Janae or whatever the case may be. I'm very curious about the real dynamic with the girls living in this house. Then we move on past that and we get to boys when again, they choose the wingman of Casa Street, Kendall cheering on everyone to connect with women outside of their couplings. And Serena feels some sort of way because of the terminology that he used saying that uh, Dea's connection with Cordell is light years better than the connection with him and Serena. And it's fact. Cordell, you know, Kendall like apologizes or whatever the case may be, but there's no reason to apologize because it is true. Okay. Girls win, they choose wet, hot American summer. It's Daniela and Aaron kissing and Cordell cheering them on, Kendall cheering them on. And he says, can we go in the shower? Daniela says, Aaron was crazy open for, crazy open in a way for what, the fact that, she, for the fact that he had the connection with Kayla. Aaron was crazy open. The fact that Daniela said that is insane. And Aaron's in the doghouse. He just it is what it is. Um, the girls win again. They choose she's not that into you. Serena and Leia are talking about Cordell and the fact that Cordell is intellectually not stimulating Serena. Leia says that Cordell is not the one for her. Okay. And they're just basically clowning him and the fact that, you know, he thinks about getting sponsorships for Cheez Its. Like, clearly, he's young. And young minded and, and 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 like the way that life is set up, he's young, right? But like, why are you mocking that? Oh, I forget because this is how you are, and this is what you've done the entire season. The entire season. They should have shown Serena dumping him at the thing and whatever else she said in between that. That's what they should have showed. Like that would have been like perfect for me to watch that again. Um Boys win and they choose the devil wears overalls. Leah is clowning Rob for crying. The truth finally comes out. Aaron backs Rob. Leah apologizes and she says, I was hurt. Rob forgives her, but he says he will never trust her again. He says, I get the tweet now. And we already knew it when it was stated. Rob says it was embarrassing crying over two girls. Leah lied about a lot of things. And that's why he can't, you know, trust her or forgive her. And listen, I'm here for all of it. I think it all makes perfect sense. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Um, let's go over the comments and let's see what you guys have to say. 35 comments? That's pretty tough. That's pretty tough. All right. Let's go over the comments. All right, so we're going to go over the comments. First comment, Kayla forgot that she is on Love Island. You can kiss and hug everyone here. Aaron apologized to Kayla. What else does she want? Although I think Aaron has nothing to apologize for, if you love a person, you have to trust him. But And if you're nagging all the time, why don't you find yourself a new boyfriend? The producers gave Kayla the opportunity to see what Aaron was doing in the Casa Amor so that Kayla could choose a new boyfriend before it was too late. Kayla didn't do it. So Kayla, shut up already. Stop crying. Either love Aaron for who he is or leave him already. Kayla is becoming unbearable. She's acting very immature. 
Immature, I wouldn't say immature. I would just say overly emotional. It is it, it, it is a mature thing to express your feelings and to cry. That is mature. That's not immaturity. But we all look at things differently. Um, next comment. They cannot fight or they will be removed from the villa. There was a fight on Love Island UK and they removed the person who started it immediately. Oh, is that? What episode is that? I want to see it. What episode is that? Let me know. Uh, see... C John 101, C Juan 101. Okay, even Cordell knew he was wrong. Serena was moving like normal. Most women that respect themselves don't be jumping all over a guy just the first three weeks. It takes time to build that level. Obviously, she grew to like him over time. Okay, well, I mean, clearly she's she's believing of that. Yes, there are women that don't just jump on anybody's bones. Um, as she put it in this latest episode. But at the same time, you can move slow all day, but you don't have to degrade him and uh, disrespect him verbally behind his back, which is what she did plenty of times. So it just, it is what it is. I love Cordell, but he did move too much in Casa, if it's true, how he felt about Serena. I am all for Serena expressing her hurt, but she needs to work on her communication skills and start giving Cordell his love language if she truly does like him. I don't know why, but I am pulling for these two. I don't know why either. I'm not. Serena does not like him. Serena does not like Serena. I just don't see it. I don't see what y'all see. And it's not even about her taking her time, but it's about how he, how she treated him from day one. Cordell was always a layup. She was always interested in Koi and Cordell was a layup from day one. Team Leia, Liv, and Janae. I only watched because Ariana was the host. Um, I agree. Serena did way too much. Gotta love it. Um, I'm ready for Serena or Janae to go. Even Leia at this point. Yes, they are the drama, but they also they are also single and vulnerable and can only blame themselves because nobody told them to come out of Casa empty handed. After watching last night's episode, I'm over Serena and Janae, and I always root black on reality shows, especially this one. But these two have did their big one entirely wrong, and I'm ready to get to not get any more secondhand embarrassment watching them. Ouch. I love Janae. I love Janae down boots. I just don't understand why she didn't choose Jacoby. And I don't really care for Serena at all. Uh, Serena is really killing the vibe. She was not checking for this man. Cordell is more feeling, um, is more feeling bad that he's hurt her and he has to stand on his decision and effectively communicate that Dad was giving him the energy he was looking for. Period. I agree. I agree. Um, you have snow bunny blindness. I don't know what that means. Daniela, Rob, and Aaron can be a thruple. They surely could. Always team Serena. I don't understand why. Uh, Liv actually has no connections, but she's been there for three weeks. Facts. She's need to go. Serena went too far for the breakfast um, to the nappy hair comment. Cordell should definitely stay with Dea. I think she is projecting past pain on Cordell. I feel sorry for him at the end of the episode. I have to disagree about Serena before Casa. It was shown that they did have a strong bond. They were making out, creating handshakes and exchange things to promise that I just don't, I don't see it. I, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. Tonight's social media episode and the movie night episode are going to be epic. It is definitely an ego thing for Serena when she said that her and Cordell have been together since day one. That's a cap. She wanted Koi and he picked Janae. Period. Let's go in Strickler. 1030. Let's go. Kendall is scheming to break all the other couples up and make everyone else look bad so that he can win the money. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Rob and Aaron uh, made a scheme to bring Dayla in the villa as a backup plan if Kayla didn't take Aaron back. Mm. Uh, Leia is toxic and fake towards Janae. Serena is low-key insecure towards Janae. Ooh. Serena friend-zoned Cordell. Ooh. Janae should have picked Jacoby. Yes! Janae should have picked Jacoby. I'm still rooting for her and Kenny, but... 
If Kenny makes no moves on her by next episode, that I'm done being delusional for them. Yes, Janae, baby D Daily, we are on the same page. Like, for real, for real. Like, for real, for real. Uh, so good. Alea, Aaron, and Rob can all go to be honest. Fox. Um, I like Rob. I like Rob, but Rob, isn't Rob from the other season and he didn't find love on his season? He's not finding love here. Rob is like another Liv. Like, Rob is like another Liv. Liv can go. Rob can go. Leah can go. Yeah, Aaron can go. I do not like Leah after I saw how fake she is to Janae that she considers a friend. Team Janae all day. She said this too. Janae too. Y'all got to calm down. Leah is good TV. Get Leah out. She straight up lied about what Cordell said when Miguel spoke to her because Cordell never said it was. Yes. I love the comments. The comments are so freaking awesome. Should I even go to Twitter? Let's see what Twitter has to say. Uh, Okay. Let's close this out. He always makes this dumbass face and it pisses me off so bad. Low Island talking about Rob. Yikes. The Rob favoritism from the producers sickens me. Leia apologizing for laughing at Rob's fake tears is insane. That did not want an apology. That man is a narcissist and a gaslighter, and the sympathy edit is pissing me off. Really? Did I did we miss something from last season or something? Aaron basically said, I love you here, damn. And Kayla is just aiding it up. I agree. Uh, why the whole situation with Leia and Rob made him seem like a victim and her like a villain when it's completely the opposite? I hated it. It's not the opposite. It's clearly what happened. Like, what are we talking about? Are we not seeing the same thing? Cordell is still working his way to back back to Serena's good side. Kane switched up. Kendall unlikable. What? Miguel weird. Rob and Daniela don't have chemistry. Aaron is a demon. But you know who's all rainbows and sunshine. My winners, Janae and Kenny. Really? Why is Daya telling Serena her innermost thoughts? That's trying her best to basically put Cordell in a situation where if she can't have him, nobody can. Word ass. I don't know about that. She said, say it. And he did. She really manifested him. Uh, uh, okay. I'm not going to have a conversation with a child, but you wanted to, that, that, that child, Daya. True, true, true. They really thought she was eating. Meanwhile, this is what it gave. No. Kitty, I want you. I need you. Just know if there's a recomplaint, I'm going to be talking about you. Oh, Janae and Kenny, uh, Hive, we are so up. Okay. I don't know about all that. Yeah, movie night is going to piss me off because why are the girls yelling at each other and not at the men? This is not how it's supposed to go. I want to know why production showed the clip of Kayla, Liv, and Rob lying to each other about their conversations with Leah instead of the actual two conversations that show how her words were purposely twisted by both sides. But they worked, though. They weren't. Like, like the delusion is real. Like people really like Leah. The delusion is real. You're giving white women scared. Please whack her again for me, Leah. That's what she said. You're giving white women scared. And you know what's crazy about that? Is that we're championing that, that, that we're not. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Let's not do that. That's a bit much. Serena, when Dea kept coming up to her, to tell her she doesn't want Cordell anymore. Facts. Um, they picked the best tweet to explain Daya being in OBG, OBJ's comments and likes. Okay, let's see. Can I pull you for a chat? I have to pull you for a chat, actually. Okay, I have to talk to you. I have to talk to you, by the way. Serena, whenever Daya feels the need to update. Okay, yeah, that's true. I'm sorry, but Aaron's mouth looks like this. All right, let's chill. We're going to chill on the comments. We're going to chill. Listen, I want you guys to do me a favor. Leave your comments below this video. Your comments most likely will be read in the next episode. I can't wait till Thursday. Sorry for missing a day. Life has been really chaotic and it still is very chaotic. I am trying to keep my company alive and make sure that 
I'm able to do what I need to do. So anyways, I love you guys so much. I'm about to go to sleep after editing this video and posting it tonight. Deuces.